say, go live. Oops. Oh, you know what I gotta do? Confirm and go live. Quiet on the set. everybody this is laz and this is jack welcome to another edition of lunch with laz and jack where we interpret the news so you don't have to and today we've got no news to talk about we got nothing i tell you what we're coming off the uh fourth of july holiday yesterday of course uh lord british's (laughs) birthday once again a very happy birthday to richard garriott out there and yes. uh, it's been all sorts of fun celebrations throughout the game, all sorts of people streaming all sorts of interesting things. And, of course, uh, we have the Birthday Bash Telethon tomorrow um, for you guys yeah. and gals out there that are interested in that. And just a quick refresh there. But, yes... Uh, you, you got all that thing going on tomorrow afternoon, and it's it's going to be weird. I mean, the the game that's currently on sale for nineteen dollars is going to come off sale. Nineteen dollars. Yeah, that's right. And, and there's a a new uh, uh, um, a new uh, YouTube video out there as well. Which one, MJ's? The Courage one. Ooh, I haven't seen that. Where are you finding yeah. that? Or is that another video that you think is new that's been out there forever? <laughs> oh, th- this this is one that was actually posted on Be done. 20, Thank you, 28, Appreciate it. I believe. Um, hold on. Let, let me go to YouTube and pull it up. As I try to get down to that thing that's going on on Friday, the Lord British Telethon on Friday. Um... Portalarium. Um, Portal Wood. Yeah. Now, where is the video? Posted one week ago. Ah, get back here. Okay, so there is this video that was posted a week ago. A week ago. Yeah, if you want to bring that one up, we Let's can. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this here. It will kill. It will kill two minutes while we try to figure out what the hell's going on. Oops. Oh shit! Shit! I should never hit full screen because no one else will be able to see it. Okay, so let me know when you're ready to go. Plan. Your return okay. has been foretold, yeah. Avatar. Let's go for a second, second. Stand forth with courage to defend the realm. And let the virtue guide you on your path.
Join us, Avatar. Yep. Okay, so what is that? Some new single player game? Um <clears throat> Well, the guys wearing the courage armor in that and uh uh, going down some of the gameplay stuff, but like I said, what is that? Some new single player game? Because all I saw was some guy on an adventure. Well, over over a shoulder at that. I mean, not very good. Yeah, yeah. I, I <laughs> believe that's all three it, paths. Yes. Yeah, dude. Uh, but I mean, the, I didn't this, see any this, party. The, uh, you know, the, you know, it was all well. Uh, no real discussion of what the game is doing, what's going on. Um, is, so th this is like one of the complaints about the advertising campaign is what is the game trying to do? It what is what are your options? What what's available? What are you doing other than hey yeah? And the video says the trial of virtue. So I would say no. That's yeah. not all three paths. No. That's just, just the path of what is that courage? Virtue yeah. That, courage? I mean, it, it, but it, it, yeah, it, it's 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 confusing. Um, but so yeah, I mean, it's, confused. If you're confused yeah. with that, I'll tell you what. You'd be really hey, confused hey. if you go out the forums from five minutes to the next. Because <laughs> one minute you see something and you're really following an interesting conversation. <laughs> yeah. And then when you go back to follow up on it, all of a sudden it seems like you can't find it anymore. And uh, yeah. more likely than not, it's probably because that's absolutely correct. It's gone. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. A lot of that going on in one of uh, today's topics. I've actually uh, got a message. I, I, I love, I love, I love you, Murray's uh, newest thing, Janus. Well, yes, uh, Janus. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. that, uh, let's that get is. Let's Janus up on screen for everybody over yeah. here, real quick. I actually have a <laughs> uh, message in to the author himself um, to come talk about it, maybe. Well, A and B, of course. Uh, if uh, let's get it up on screen first, and uh, Janice yeah, I've, I've is, got it up uh, on screen right now from yeah. uh, Umari, and uh, what Janice actually is, if anybody of anybody of you, any of you folks know who Umari is, uh, Two Faced God, yeah, is uh, Janice is just another non-essential Umari script, okay? And anybody yes. knows Umari gives you access to the API on. Uh, so is uh, Yumari stats uh, page, but uh, what this does is this checks the forms for any deleted messages, and I'm going to quote him from his deleted message because his post on Janus announcing Janus to the world that allows you to track these deleted yeah. messages somehow amazingly enough was deleted from the forums itself. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. Finding that, <laughs> finding that in itself particularly interesting, of course, you know me, I know you, Murray, I had to reach out and go, I gotta ask, but I'm, I'm sure I already know the answer. You probably well, did it, not it, delete your own post announcing Janice. Now, um, with that said, um, you Murray's own words, Janice does not discriminate. It does not tell you whether it was deleted by the user, it, it, whether it, it was deleted does not by judge. the moderator. It does not judge. That is right. But uh, yeah, again, uh, when I noticed that the thread that you Murray posted announcing this nice little uh, utility, it happened to be up on the uh, list itself. I had to go and just say to myself, that's not you Murray style. Um, now, there are a couple other posts in here. I'm going to shoot right down to the bottom here um, on the one of locking of threads. It's the very bottom one because there was that one, uh, again, okay. being uh, moderated because uh, whatever. And this one oh, was crap. quite funny because... Uh, I just closed the wrong window. <laughs> yeah, I just hit the wrong... Uh, <laughs> It's like, okay, let, let, let's go back. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, 
Locking threads. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I did. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I expanded it. Yeah, you go to the Janus uh, thread version thread. because yeah. the other one. So somebody comes in and starts talking about, hey, you know, what's going on? We're locked. Well, I have people locking threads, and there's a conversation going on. And this one was actually indeed locked by Ceres. Um, because number yeah. three, it was open for no constructive reason, but only for the sole purpose of talking bad about someone or something which has, which is not a base for a healthy discussion, nor does it add anything valuable to the community. Well, when we're talking about being moderated about stuff that's really important to the players and we notice it disappearing, do you guys really think we're not paying attention to this? I mean, really, seriously? Okay, well, you, you also have to remember, Ceres is somewhere over in Europe. That, he, but he's with Travian. The, the, and the, the thread topic itself was, you know, I wanted to discuss locking this. Threads, why why yeah. are threads being yeah. locked? And but, but just that topic alone gets it locked because they don't want to hear it? I'm sorry. What do you want to hear? I mean, you know, I'm getting tired of seeing this stuff. I'm following everything. Everything is peachy I in get, the world. I get emails and everything, so this is not the first I've seen or heard yeah. of this, and you know I do this all the time. Well, it, 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 this is something that has been discussed and actually, for the last enough, several years. Am I in there the, still? No, I actually had a thread in there because my email stopped coming and I posted on that, um, but I found that was a problem with my email client, and I fixed that. Um, uh, that was when, two when days you and reformatted and reinstalled it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, that was yeah. That's that's neither here nor there. But uh, yeah. what what it comes down to was there's several topics and people are wondering why. And instead of getting a, a solid answer as to listen, you know, ba 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 ba, you know, it's just locked and deleted. And you know, it's not constructive. Well, what is constructive? Are we not allowed to talk about being moderated? Is that what it is? Uh, are we not allowed to you know ask um, those questions now? <clears throat> you, you, you know what's not constructive yeah the rpg codex <laughs> review <laughs> yeah well that's not constructive either i don't even have that up right now oh um, it, 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 it it is it is i i agree with like 90 percent of the comments made inside of that uh yeah. that review um, I, I there, just there got a is question a couple yeah problems. I just got a question a thing or two here because again these these are on people's minds out there and again people are oh, discussing yeah. it and it's being turned off and deleted without you know getting room for proper discussion in my opinion so of course first thing I'm going to do is uh, as always going to tell all you folks that uh, you can come join us right here live on stream on twitch.tv or in discord we're here all day and we have open conversation about everything and anything and there is no censorship when it comes to your opinion you know now if wait, you come wait, in, if you wait come there in is and, and you put there is too much if you violate there, the only rule don't be a there dick. Is, that's right Yes, if you violate that rule and you're a dick, then yeah, you will get kicked. Yeah, we, we put up with a lot of stuff, and very rarely do we ever delete a post uh, ever in our chat. So, um, and again, it, it, it's happened, don't get me wrong, but uh, believe me, it's very far and few in between only because it was really offensive to other people. Um, and when it gets offensive to us, yeah. then you know you're pushing the line because it takes a lot to piss us off. I tell you what, <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be pissed eh. off than pissed on, but you know that's another story. I'd rather do the pissing. <laughs> yeah, I bet you would. Because <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom, man. <laughs> but uh, and I, and yeah, I went so right I mean, you Murray, you Murray releases this, and first thing you see is, you know, boom. Oh. Um, he's hold, uh, hold on that. Yeah, I see. Kazam's got that there. What is yeah. it? Yeah. Here, I just I just reposted it. It's a Eurogamer uh, review. Uh, yep. I see this one. And yeah. Now there's several one. reviews yeah. out there, and they're uh, they're mixed. Uh, to well, say it, the least. it's it's a lot of 
it's a lot of questions about what's going on and what is happening and it's all part of the fallout from the uh, the, the layoffs, layoffs that happened a yes. couple of weeks ago it's it's one where you, we just had the release okay three. well well here are two other things real quick and we'll we'll go yeah. into this article let's bring this up because this is something as well that I wanted to touch on because this yeah. was another post I'm um, out there that was deleted. Uh, somebody was posting about, hey, you know, um, on Steam, Steam changed with this new uh, license thing that came out recently. They haven't update this privacy out of, over in the EU. EU, EU privacy. Yeah. Um, apparently, so Steam, Steam is changed, essentially dead. Yeah. Apparently, Steam changed all their TOS, and so did many other trackers of all this stuff. And you now have to opt in. So this stuff that was tracking properly several months ago with the new um, laws coming in, that's all been turned off. And there's also been topics about that that have been readily deleted. Um, yeah. Again, there's a lot of stuff here that's being talked about that's just it, being deleted out of. But but yeah, that existing. that that is. But at the same time, that has no bearing on what's going on with Portalarium. And well, it's, again, in, it, in, it, I'm reading it may have been posted quick. in the wrong forum. I mean, no, no, that no. should have gone in the tavern or something like that. Uh, again, again, is uh, it was listen, folks, if you want to get counted in the numbers, this is what you got to do now. This wasn't anything derogatory, this was this yeah. is how you get back and get counted in Steam uh, again, yeah. Uh, it was one of those things, and this guy was pushing his agenda. He's like, come on, man, we want to see these numbers. So anyway, I'm yeah, seeing it touched on. on here real quick, and I wanted to touch on that as well, which is Steam numbers don't count, okay? You yeah, can't use well, the Steam numbers. And I'm, I'm, we're going to bring the Steam numbers up for a reason, because historically, again, if you look, and it goes all the way back to December 2014, you can see the numbers every month. You know what? The numbers fluctuate every year the same time. Okay. And if you yeah, look but at that, but going back to 2014, you're you're dealing with early access up until going back a few months ago when it was absolutely. launched. Absolutely. But here here's the kicker: you saw 60s, 70s, and 80s back in 2014. By 2016, you were seeing 200s on average, 300s, okay? And then that's still, still not a substantial amount. But we're still in the two. A Steam yeah. doesn't log everybody. Not everybody uses Steam. Even even if no. it was half, that's still not right. But anyway, don't trust the Steam numbers. Well, let's uh, bring. I, uh, I, I, I wonder actually if my login is counted, considering. I'm using Steam to launch the game, but I'm not logging in through Steam. Hmm. I don't think so because I do that a lot of times, and then but that would just I, give me. I never actually logins. use the login through Steam. I I, I never do. I always type use, in my username and yeah. I always type in my username and password, even though I launch the game through Steam. So it's possible that neither one of us are ever counted even though we use Steam to download the game client. Yeah. Anyway, it just hides your first bit. Screen. I didn't know you could get your... Yeah. And it's silly it's stuff. Raining. It's silly stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Florida, man. You're in Florida. It's um, overcast right now in Texas. Yesterday it rained. You missed it. It was um, stormy. Daniels. But moving right along. You gonna cover this, or are we just gonna stare and look at it? Uh, which one? Uh, the one we just shared with everybody. The RPG Codex or the uh, Eurogamer one? Shroud on the ropes. So that's the Eurogamer article. Uh, let's go ahead and post that link around. Even though, uh, thank you. Kazaz Amin for posting it out there. Uh, uh, is Richard Garrett's shroud of the Avatar on the ropes because it looks like a flop? 
Shroud of the Avatar Forsaken Virtue, Richard Garrett's spiritual successor to the legendary online role-playing game Ultima Online, and for a long time the second most crowdfunded game around, with more than 10 million raised, launched only a few months ago, 27th of March, 2018. Did you notice? No. I don't blame you because it appears to have been a flop. Steam doesn't paint the whole picture because you can buy and play the game through the official Shroud website, but the picture it does paint is worrying. In the launch month of March, Shroud had a peak Steam concurrent player count of only 562, which is tiny, way outside the top 100, let alone the top 10. And customer reviews, reviews average at mixed, which means you see a plenty of off-putting negative reviews, which is sad. Then we also have, uh, but more worrying was news of layoffs. A reporter from MMORPG visited Shroud Developer a couple of weeks ago, coincidentally a day after the layoffs happened and said half their team had been let go. Then it didn't look good. Online games, Shroud can be played offline in a separate mode, but online is the mate is the focus are expensive to maintain and only work if people are playing them. It, if people aren't interested, how long can Shroud stick around? We'll see on Friday. I spoke to Richard yes, yesterday about it. And firstly, Richard says, the majority of players don't play on Steam. He told me, we are in the many thousand, but not in the many tens of thousands of monthly active users at the moment. I wish he would say concurrent in there, but it's it's not there yet. Yeah, we'd still like uh, real numbers. I know yeah. that. Everybody would like real numbers. And thank you, Eagle. Um, I, I would love Eagle, it to be thousands you, of concurrent you. users, but it's not there yet. It's hundreds of concurrent uh, users. D, uh, all of the above. Yeah. Yeah. If people aren't interested, how long can Shroud stick around? And I spoke... Uh, sorry. Um, we'd be quite content with tens of thousands of monthly active users and we're within shooting range of that secondly there were layoffs but portland didn't have the team we were more than 20 people before and we're a little under now um um Number does not include contract. Does not help. include contracted help. I'm yes. sorry. Uh, way too many contractors. Yeah. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. The number of actual employees at Portalarium was less than 20 with a dozen contractors. Yeah. Port Portalarium. Well, we know they use contractors. I yes, mean, we do. They, they have so, to use I mean, contractors, yes. but yes. Uh, Portalarium may also be bulking back up, which sounds positive. We did make some reductions to get back to the size we could afford at the burn rate we had been at previously, but they hope to staff back up here if they get marketing to take hold again. for the first time. It, yeah, I, I don't know why the word again yeah, is there. Well, I, I got it. I, I marketing gotta, take yeah. hold. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then... We do have marketing is the key issue at, as Gary it sees it, which is absolutely true. You need marketing. You Indeed, need to be direct. Something you, where we've been you, very uh, you, staunch behind. You yes. need to sit there and say, now available on PC, Mac, and Linux. It, it, it's like big, bold, this is what you're playing on. You, you need to get into those AdSense banner. Fuck that Facebook mm. shit. AdSense yeah. banners pop up everywhere, and you can target... Yeah your gamers you can target your f massive multiplayer audience yeah and you're not gonna get the facebook the, the, ads the eight year olds playing barney or the 80 year olds who don't know what facebook is i mean you're gonna get your gamers i mean geez yeah. even nbnn uses adsense yep. for crying out loud <laughs> adsense is probably the way to go yeah I mean, um, just saying yeah, but uh, so Garrett and team paid for marketing, which no one saw materialize. We spent a chunk of money on the April marketing, but literally no one in our office saw it. No one in the game community apparently saw it either. Sadly, they misfired a chunk of change on mistargeted marketing. 
you think? That is def- definitely true. Yeah, uh, that's, that's an understatement. Yeah. That's all right. We, we, know, we know that already. And yeah. The, Gary believes there are millions of Ultima players unaware of Shroud of the Avatar exists. Don't just target Ultima players. Target anybody and everybody. I mean, you, you could target... This has been a critique all over the place. Go ahead and target the Second Life players. Go ahead and target the WoW players. Go ahead and target every target single MMO Sims player. Players. How about any the one of them? Players? Yes, because they would love this world. I will tell you what. Yeah. And Saturday, Sim actually having to run off to work for 15, 20 minutes, and they have to wait for him to get back. They can actually. Well, they they can deal with the fifteen world. to twenty minutes of darkness in game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Instead of having uh, to sleep, you know, they can actually be productive in this world. So, you know, I mean, yeah. I've pl- I've played the Sims, so it, and I'm not comparing the two. I'm just saying, but hit those. Uh, markers, I, I did not man. play the Sims. Yeah. You know, because that 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 would th- those people are, are, are perfect for the crafting niche in this game, in my opinion. Oh, nachos! You dirty bastard! Nachos. This is getting nachos, man. Nacho, mama. I know it's like. Then we do have. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. <sighs> let's see. Gary believes there's still millions. Uh, he said, "I can't tell you how many people on my own Twitter feed still go." Oh wait, you came out with a new game. Yeah, that, that's I that. See. That's a massive problem with Twitter, right there. Anyways, yeah, I, 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 I like, see it all yeah. the time. You know, is uh, because I follow Richard and uh, I, I see yeah. some of the conversation. A lot of people are like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, when did when did you do that?" And immediately upon hearing about oh, yeah. it on the Twitter feed, they go out and they grab themselves a copy. Uh, I've seen it dozens of times. Yes, and well, it, so like Akondis is saying, uh, or actually. Uh, Kazazamine is actually saying target college students. I actually agree with that because college students spend an inordinate amount of time playing. They'll also stream. They'll also talk about things. And if they get into something they'll like, they will promote it to all of their friends. Even though they may not have a much of a disposable income right now, that is probably going to change in the very near again, future for them. That, yeah, you know, that that culture. I mean, you yes, know, it, the, because you, you it got is the geeks in yeah. the dorms these days, and they they do land parties. You what? know, even more so than yeah. people like us do these days. You know, hey, and man. there's the free trial. Yeah. So if they can talk their friends into checking it out for free, yeah. You know, ooh, on sale, twenty bucks. Uh, you know, I've been known to drop twenty bucks in Walmart on a game that got my interest on the shelf. Yeah. Um, Moving right along. Uh, yeah. But then we also do have. Uh, let's see. Where where was I at? <laughs> That's right. V. Donham says this is Mark Twain often said. <laughs> Reports death of my is. death are greatly exaggerated, and as as are oh, the yeah. death of this game. So very greatly exaggerated. We're just pointing some things out here, folks. Anyway, yeah. moving right no along. Um, Where were you at? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Port Alarm has been trialing uh, new marketing internally and thinks it's on to something. If this proves out, then we think in the next few months we'll be able to start turning this and creating a much larger audience. But it's taking taken them a few months to figure it out. So just post the shit on the forums and let people fucking have at it. Go ahead and say, hey, we're thinking about doing this for our new marketing campaign. It's like, it, as open as all the rest of the development is, let get the feedback from the community. It's You're not going to hurt well, yourself. What, wasn't there a refer a friend thing back a while ago? You know, well, and you yeah, can... and I accidentally sold my account that actually had that reward with the thumbs up. Yeah. It's... Uh, so I, I I lost out on my my thumbs up reward. Oh but bummer. Yeah, yeah I, 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 so I no longer have the thumbs up. If I sold that account to you, would you please trade me or teach me that teach emote? Your thumbs up emote. <laughs> yeah, because I had it a long time ago. Now I don't. I don't uh, actually. The thumbs up is not teachable. As a matter of fact, uh, last I damn. looked, they, that yeah, that was a strictly pledge reward only because. I went looking yeah. for it because I really missed having that emote. But uh, 
Yeah. Again, referral program goes a long, long way, people. Long way. Yeah. And then, but it, what if the marketing doesn't work and nothing changes? How long can Shroud of the Avatar run? Forever, Richard Gary insisted. We have total confidence we'll go through all five episodes come hell or high water, which is actually mm-hmm. a good statement. I mean, so they cut down the staff to to fit their current burn rate with the ex, with the hope that things turn around in the in the next few months. So hopefully by the end of this quarter they're able to get some of that some of that uh, marketing campaign out there and attracting new users. And then uh, episodes are essentially shroud expansions, big bundles of content around themed around a story. Forsaken Virtues episode one and Portalarium is currently planning uh, episode two. That Me too. Um, there are still artists at Portalarium. There are. You have Do Scotty. Plan. You also have Damon. Then. You also have um, let's see a world builder in wrist right. list so that that's three and then in a pinch some you got other people Damon, can do some you got artwork. Brandon you got Keith you got Travis uh, well Brandon wait did he do any artwork he's in design. Remember? Yeah, I he's that. in design, but I don't yeah. know if he's actually done the artwork. I I remember going by his desk one day a long time ago, and he was he was playing around with armor stuff, but I don't know if he was actually changing the actual artwork. So yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Strata, you think? Yeah, well, we 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 just finished saying Spyware? we don't censor anybody, and you, you're calling this guy names for crying out loud. Mm. <laughs> yeah, did, did they they delete your post uh, that was on the forums from last night? Probably. <laughs> I haven't gone back to look yet since I looked at it, but uh, anyway. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm glad that Richard thinks that they can get all the way through episode five, uh, come hell or high water. Uh, I mean, that, that means that something will be around. But at the same time, you we do have to recognize that there are the people that are actually critical of the game. Many of them actually want it to succeed, and Absolutely. they're 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 critical because they're saying shit. You fucked up this really? aspect. Please <laughs> fix this aspect. It's not always fuck you. I hate you, and I want you to die. Um, so there, there is some a- elements of being critical. I mean, we do it all the time here. If, if you listen to our intro, it's like there, there are comments there that are not nice to the game at all. <laughs> well, they, Where did they know, come up with there this have crap? Been people since day one who for whatever reason um, either they dislike the former game that was done by anybody in the team and I'm not going to pick on Richard in particular because there are many guys you know I mean but I've I've seen from this end of the spectrum to that end of the spectrum that there there's no rhyme or reason why people want to hate on a, on a game like this and there I I I've seen people well, out there who spend the- more time posting about how much they disliked it, that if they actually put some positive energy behind something, that person could probably be famous, you know, but... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's one to where it's like, if you're going to be critical, please provide some positive means of change. I mean, yeah. make a suggestion how you would visualize it in a perfect world, and some of it you you do have to remember. It's like a small staff. They do they have never had a huge staff, and with that small staff, you also had the incremental development that we've been able to witness the entire time. Um, and when you're when you're dealing with that, it's like you're talking about a completed system that might take one person years to develop. If it was a AAA title where they could throw a hundred people, it would still take them months to work on something. You know, Just look at Star Citizen. I, I was looking. Hundred million dollars. Uh, Two hundred million dollars. 
Still not released. What was I looking at last night? Was it Battlefield or was it uh, the other one? Anyway, uh, as, as the credits are rolling in the intro, there's, you know, and I, I just did a cursory count, and, you know, like, the cursory count of developers was over 100 um, on, the, on the intro credit, so. Just to say, you know, on a triple A. I'm sure there were hundreds and hundreds of more people besides that who didn't get any credit. <laughs> hey, well, don't worry. We're we're it's reading scripted. that conversation. We're not ignoring you. We're we're just sitting here. No, no, no. That that is that is Skirta and uh, Kesamine going at it. Oh, I know they're, that. I'm, they're I'm, talking I'm, shit I'm, to each other. I'm they're they're calling. Here. Or, yeah. yeah, I'm it's, sitting here taking it in. Yeah. Right now on Twitch, that's the entertainment, man. Ain't nobody paying attention to us, man. They were, they're checking out. No, that. <laughs> they don't care about us. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. see, I, yeah. I know, I know, I know what I know what he is saying because I was I was kind of looking at that conversation. And, and wait, good news! I finally hooked up my third monitor. I finally took it out of the oh, box. Oh yes, we we saw. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I so yeah. <laughs> but the only problem is it's a 22 inch monitor that is it's what 11 inches it's 11 by 22 I, I don't understand how they do these things <laughs> with a 22 inch diagonal so it's probably 24 26 inches long uh what normally would be and i've got it in portrait mode so it's just fucking weird so i've got like web pages top third uh both of our uh, Twitch channels uh, in the middle, and then below that Discord. And your boom mic's blocking your way still. And and the boom mic is <laughs> in the way. So now, yeah. See, you know what so, I wound up doing? You know why mine is actually right here because it actually splits the divider of the two monitors. So one side I can see, and this side I can see, and the boom mic is right down the middle. Well, I I think the next step is to actually buy the the four monitor <laughs> setup with the one that's where it's two monitors stacked on top of each other and then you've got the other two on the sides. I'd just rather have a four stack, two and two. Eh, and you know. can make them into uh, one big screen. It, well, yeah, you what need I, special what, monitors for that. We, we, we both need the six monitor set up, is what you're really yes, saying. Yes, what we really both <laughs> need is the 632s, you know, Star Trek style. That's right. <laughs> the wall of monitors. Get out there and play some Wing Commander, I'll tell you what. <laughs> no, but it, it's like, yes, there are a ton of issues with the game. And I do hope that they are able to address those issues i hope that they're able to bring performance up to what it should be which means that they have to fix those lod problems indeed if you're not able to fix those lod problems then we're going to have serious performance issues ongoing and that is the huge biggest problem because you need to be able to get a person that bought a computer six years ago that was not designed initially as a gaming PC to be able to play the game because this is not the days of, I mean, there has not been huge More people who have gaming machines who crash while playing the game. Or you need to be able to fix <laughs> Laz's machine, which uh, uh, did, did you do my suggestion yesterday? I tried tried everything. I tell you. No, more no, you did. Did, you, did. did you try my suggestion yesterday? What unplug and plug into the wall? Yes, completely yes. bypass your UPS yes. and it did so it did crash still. Still crash. Damn. Yeah. And, well, if you're gonna ask, you know, I, I I did I did gleam a couple things. I did gleam that my my. Video cards fan was not kicking in like it was supposed to be, but it was still not an overheating issue. So I got myself a copy uh. of af Afterburner, and Afterburner let me just tweak it out to where it's, it, you know, or at least it tells me what the levels are. But um, Afterburner kicked in my fans into overdrive, so um, whatever it is that you know causes this, I'm I'm still cool as shit. I'm still well under temperature. 
So that that wasn't the problem. It wasn't a heating problem. So. Hey, m mine's a lot cooler than yours is. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, it, or it was yesterday. <laughs> Uh, my machine is cooler than yours, other than your video card. It's you, a little better you know, than you mine. You got that radiator. That's right. That that fucking massive. As I, 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 I was this close to buying one, and I said, yeah. Man, that, that Noctua fan I, uh, uh, radiator I've got is mammoth. But uh, Although it's not a radiator. It's a... What the fuck's it properly called? <laughs> It's not a radiator because it's not a water cooled system. It is a heat sink. Heat sink. That's right. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, it is a massive heat sink. That that reminds me of the time I actually bought a heat sink that didn't fit inside of my existing case, so I had to go buy another case in order to fit a heat sink in it. <clears throat> Running out of RAM causes a GPU bottleneck. The The problem with, with Shroud of the Avatar is not GPU limitations. It has been processor bound. And it is something that it is a Unity feature that has affected lots and lots of people. The fact that it is processor bound is a huge problem. And Indeed. part of that part of that is actually addressed in uh, that article that you don't want to talk about that RPG I didn't code. Say that's I don't want to talk about it. I just didn't have. Oh, it is a long. I I had fifteen other things yeah, pop it... up, and I lost that one in the shuffle. That's all. As a matter of fact, I do have a link up for it right now, but uh, I don't think we have time. We d I know we don't have time uh, to even get into. No, this we part. definitely don't have three minutes we, to we cover that. In. But I, I will say that this RPG Codex article, I agree with about ninety percent of the comments in it as far as his analysis about 90% it is um, well what we do is we yeah. share the link with everybody here in public and let them take a look at it themselves how yeah, about that please and, uh, do we, a we, read through we can get some feedback um, from them after the show and on tomorrow's show and find oh, out a little bit more yeah. and again and I, uh, we are here it, all this day is, every day and this is actually the one that actually brought you to Yamuri's uh, uh, Janus project. Actually, that's not true. Or, I was already looking no, at that. It, no. it was it was the first one that you posted to me from the Janus project. So, well, I had yeah. already found the Janus. Yeah, Janus, Janus, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Um, hey, it's it's I, got an I, anus I, in it, man. I I, I, found, I found this link through a deleted link on the forums yeah. absolutely so uh, yeah again censorship 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 listen guys uh, yeah, well we, we we've, we've bitched about that who are paying for attention. fucking three years i get an email from everything yeah. that's posted so even if it gets deleted i see it you murray had to put out a script because we're tired of seeing stuff get deleted that is stuff we want to talk about if we want to talk about it Apparently, it's got something to do about you guys that you should be listening to. Hello? You know, not listening to it doesn't solve the problem. Deleting it doesn't solve the problem. Listening to the feedback from your players and acting on it, hmm, might solve the problem. Stop deleting the damn shit. If anything, lock it. Let people still be able to see it. But don't delete the shit. I know, you don't delete it. It's just hidden from everybody's view. But you all understand the point I'm getting at. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, well, yeah, shift, shift PC, it's like the game running by, like, shit is... It is more than... It is mostly because of the Unity stuff that's causing problems. Yeah. Shift PC, yeah, absolutely. I've got a fourth generation i7, 32 gigs on board with a Titan with 12 gigs of RAM on it. By no means am I underpowered yeah, it, it, with a thousand it, it, watt we, power supply. It, it is, backing it that is up. processor <clears throat> bound. Yeah. It, is, again, it is you know, never targeting. Yeah, anything proving else. the theory, I went out and loaded up half the games on my Steam list, including things like Battlefield and uh, your, your favorite Counter Strike. And I went out and I just. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, wanted, you know, I ran this stress test from these games. 
Uh, uh, without batting an eye, everything else. I mean, I crash it on the line. Oh yeah, no rhyme or it, reason. It's 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 <laughs> a it's a it's a huge problem with Unity, and it is all kinds of memory leaks, and it is things they internally they need to look at how things are loaded and even though they said that they made significant improvements this release i haven't seen any any well, because i i mean i'm, like, I'm going to state what i stated yeah, earlier last yeah, week right. uh, because uh tomorrow is the day we're waiting for tomorrow's live oh, stream yeah. and um <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fucking burned at the stake tomorrow. Yeah, well, yeah. You, <laughs> you, you I'm actually got to walk into the office after today. <laughs> I'm going to be. Show, uh, it's and, like, and damn it, them. you're fucking bitching about things, and yet you're going to help us with the stream. Yes. Yeah, it, well, they'll, they'll gladly yeah. accept your help because we know they're yeah. short-handed. But anyway, um, yeah. no, no. Is uh, what I was going to go on to say was, uh, as I was saying, I said last week, uh, waiting for the live stream uh, this. Uh, this month because uh, they i'm um, hopefully hopefully they're gonna address a lot of this and talk about that and uh put a lot of minds to ease now while we may complain about things we dislike and the problems um you don't see us saying we're leaving you don't see us saying we're selling out and we have no faith no we have all the confidence in this team and we always have but do we have bitches gripes and complaints just like everybody else absolutely we do so um, we try and keep it open, uh, as you know. Um, what we're reading to you are not our actual writings. Uh, these are posted on the internet. No, th just, these are other people. Yeah, we're we're just and, giving you what what's out there to uh, talk about and food for thought. Uh, we always invite you to come and try the game yourself. Don't listen to all the yeah. You know, we've always we've always been strong proponents of that. Don't listen to all the feedback out there. Come in and make an informed decision. Very simple. Try it for now, free. Play it. I was make yeah. up your own mind. Do whatever. I, I did That's was right. gonna say that I, I also actually come did, by recall. Did, did something did something that. that you didn't haven't done. I actually pasted my my memory utilization as well as my GPU performance with with the game running to where it actually shows it's like my oh, GPU is okay. running like eighty something percent. Well, you know and, what? While you're doing that, let's take yeah. a minute to do that. I can I can do the same real quick. And, and, and you'll shit when yeah. you see mine. I mean, uh, what is that? My task manager. Yeah. Yeah, and performance. performance. Yeah. And it's. Yeah, it's. But then you get to see that I'm actually, and I I should have actually scrolled all the way down to where it's like it gets to my GPU where that's only got sixty percent utilization. And I, I only have a GTX 1080, so... Yeah, I well, I got it up you. on screen over here. I'm sitting at 70%, but I got to give this yeah. uh, chart just a minute to fill out. Otherwise, it was blank, so... <laughs> yeah. It, it's, this, this is a... The bottleneck is definitely in that thing called the processor. So, Yeah. We won't yeah. discuss the processes that I actually have running right now, because I I have more than your average person for some odd reason. Oh yeah, forget about that. Is uh, you and me hey, both, but, brother? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well, yeah. I, I I could definitely do that for you. Um. Logical processors. You actually yeah, want to see what each here. core is doing? <laughs> really? Fine. Be, be that way. Fine. 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 It's spinning in everything, man. <laughs> well, while, he, uh, while you're doing that, uh, I think we have to do a little moving along here. So we're going to yeah. do our move moving along because we are running a little behind. Yeah. Just a little behind. Nothing major. But yes, uh, don't forget, uh, we are NBNN News, and uh, of course, if you want to take the news with you on the go, when you go, or wherever you go, you can get your hands on the NBNN Tragedy Avatar app, available on the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store. We've got all your electronic devices covered, and you can take it anywhere at least anywhere where you got a connection at least 
Uh, you can check out the Daily Britannian, published seven days a week. Read the forms and get into a flame war and then watch it get deleted. You can check out Soda Map. You can shop the marketplace. Or you can hit us up in Discord. Much, much more. Listen to the radio stations. Check pictures and videos. Help videos. All sorts of great stuff. Including the NBNN Shroud of the Avatar Community Calendar. Brought to you every day by our good friends over at HometownHero.com. If you're looking to get vape juice needs taken care of, check out HometownHero.com for all your vape juice needs. Use the promo code tw uh, yeah, NBNN, save 20% off when you check out, or just click on any of the links you see out there. If you want to know more, click on the Want to Know More link if you want to check out what they've got. Click on the links. Check it out. Hometownhero.com Yep. Don't forget that community calendar is on Shroud. Uh, in bnn.info, click on the community calendar button. And then realize that it is an aggregate of all of the available Google public calendars related to Shroud of the Avatar. And if you have a Google public calendar and you want your events added, you need to email that guy, news at nbnn.info. He'll do something with it, and I may or may not read off your events. Depends on how I feel and what time they are. But Monday through Friday, you need to tune in your ether amplifiers to Wadio Radio for Britannia. W to an ETH. Interpreting the news so you don't have to on a little show called Lunch with us mm -hmm. at 7 p.m. on Wadio Radio Free Britannia is the 70s at 7 and at 10 o'clock the final event is the Wicked Womb also the on Wadio Radio mm -hmm. Free Britannia and that's that's toward a Thursday man it's toward a quiet. Thursday not a, not a lot going on it's quiet that's yeah. right we quiet out there of course you're watching NBNN right here on nbnn.info twitch.tv slash cinesist or twitch.tv slash nbnn news catching us on replays on youtube or on the in-game radio we appreciate you all for tuning in and checking out the show and supporting us and of course if you'd like to be a supporter you can be like Eagle or B. Donham out there. B. Donham, thank you both for the sub today and uh, as well as the cheer. Uh, Eagle, thank you for the cheer on both channels. We love you guys. Yeah, see, I've got the oh, same thing going on. My stats are now popping up on my screen, which got to got You've got what popping that. up? The stats from Afterburner. <laughs> popping up on your screen, yeah. too. <laughs> anyway. Wait, wait. Are they? Yes. Anyway, Where? we'll talk about that later on my screen. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, uh, if you want to become a supporter, you can click on any of those donate links on any of our websites. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash nbnn. Or you can become a sponsor. Get your name up on the big screen here. Also, checking out on Patreon. If you got Amazon Prime, you get a free sub every month. We'd appreciate it if you use those on our streams as well. Don't cost you nothing. Puts a few coins in our pockets, and we'd love you forever. Theairyfund.org. Become a supporter today and play for a cause. The Airy Fund bringing you the latest in community causes, helping save the world one gamer at a time. SodaCon Austin 2018. It's going to be a blast, folks. And, of course, ticket prices, they gone up. You've waited this long. It hurts. I mean, I tell you, you should have got those early birds. Tickets are on sale through October 1st. So don't forget, uh, we're hanging out in Austin uh, second week in October. And uh, we're going to be hanging out with developers and fellow Shroudies, having a great time and all sorts of planned events, from panels to theater to land parties. We got it all covered. Come check it out, SodaCon Austin 2018. I hope to see you all there. Legit from Hometown Hero. That's what I'm vaping right now, man. That lemon bar is just absolutely off the chain. Seventeen ninety nine gets you 120 milliliters. And, of course, 20% off. You can't beat that anywhere. Coilmore Wands putting the magic in your hands. If you're looking for custom wood in-game, check out Arius Coilmore for all your wands and staves. Scrotus Music Service, when you're looking for some entertainment in-game, you can hire Scrotus for Scrotus Music Thingy. 
You want buffs, you want company, or you just want Scrota, he's available on ShroudMarketplace.com. <laughs> Britannian <laughs> Mining Company. I see the smile on your face on that one. Yeah. <laughs> The Britannian Mining Company wants you to come check out Black Rock Co. That's right. If you're looking to uh, check out some goods and get some great prices and have quality materials in stock at all times, go check out Black Rock Co. Located in the Quell region next to the town of Exeter, conveniently located next to those mines that you want to be near. And, of course, if you're a crazy, like-minded miner, the BMC wants to hear from you. Go to bmcguild.com, check out the application, and uh, you can join a crazy bunch of buffalo. i tell you what, those guys. Relicspyreal.com for all your licensed strategy avatar swag. If you're looking for t-shirts, you're looking for hats, not this hat. You're looking for patches, bumper stickers, and much, much more. Relics by Rills got you covered with all the Trouted of the Avatar swag that you'll ever need. Relicsbyreal.com for all your licensed swag. NBN ends the promo code that's going to save you 10% when you check out. WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you two crazy dudes five days a week right here. Except when we're not here five days a week like this week. The latest Hello. news and entertainment Holidays, and whatever man. it is is on our mind any given day. And of course, ShroudMarketplace.com where you can get your hands on just about anything, which was funny because... Another one of them uh, deleted threads was on real money transactions and how people didn't it, like them. Now, of course, yeah, it's, you a know what? It, it's, it's a discussion that we need to have. It's a discussion that's been allowed. It's something that's, that, that's, that is totally something that's been allowed, it's something yeah, that's it's totally been around allowed, since fucking Kickstarter. But apparently, <laughs> we're not allowed to discuss it in the forums. I thought the forums <laughs> was the only place we were allowed to discuss this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, well, it's, maybe, a, it's someone else sit, the, sitting there. Yeah. Maybe because the discussion wasn't in the for sale part, part is why it got deleted. I don't know. Probably. Maybe if you, maybe if you bring yeah. that argument down to the for sale area, it won't get deleted. But you, you know what? ShroudMarketplace.com allows anybody to register as a vendor and set up their shop uh, just like Caffeine has. Uh, he does want everybody to know that he does have his tax free founders t town deed up for sale. Special price, eleven sixty. Right, he's dropped right that Shroud price. That's right. I know. Came down on it, that price a little bit. Right now, it's on sale. Shroudmarketplace.com. I mean, you can Got find it. anything and everything game related yeah. from accounts. I'm going to let you game gold. A little secret right now, what? folks, what? What? because some people out there are in a panic. It's a buyer's market, so all sorts of oh great yeah stuff on it sale. It definitely is. Yeah. Prices are insane and off the charts right now. So if you were looking for that great stuff. Walmart, seven ninety nine. <laughs> Somebody asked where I got the hat. I'm answering. <laughs> yeah, oh, but anything and, and everything. And, and, real, and real quick, Scrota, see your problem is you fall into it. See you read Reddit. Reddit, bad. <laughs> you know, Steam reviews, bad. Don't do neither. <laughs> Hey, play the game for free. Figure out, make your own decision. That's right, quarterline. Prices are insane, insane right now. Yeah, but yeah, you know what? You need to do yourself a favor if you want to sell stuff. Register for an account on Shroud Marketplace and on the left hand side. Click on vendor registration and sell your stuff. I mean, it, right. it's always nice free. to wake up, see see that you've got money in your account, in your PayPal account, Love and an email saying, "Hey, account. you need to deliver this to whatever." Uh, but yeah, anything and everything, ShroudMarketplace.com, that is game-related, that is not a bannable offense, which means, you know what, you can even buy leveling services out at Shroud Marketplace. Yes. Which so, is allowed. Perfectly it's, it's legal. that deleted post, you know, because people yeah. don't want to talk about it. Well, people want to talk about it. Some other people don't want you talking about it. I don't know well, why. It, yeah, you know what? Anything and everything, as long as it's not taking advantage of a game exploit, is allowed. So not it's like, if, if you way. want to sell something like a duck in-game, you That's can right. buy that 
at right Shroud there. Marketplace, right there. at some dude's vendor. And it's like, you can do a search for duck. Quack. And it will come up. Five bucks, as as get it, your duck. Yeah. As soon as it wants to do the search. Fresh yeah, want to buy a duck five right five there. Bucks. Yeah. But you can find anything and everything game related. I have seen all kinds of things being bought and sold. 500 sausages were sold on Shroud Marketplace. I mean, if you want to talk about like sausages. weird stuff, it's like, what kind of stuff? I, I don't know. We would actually have to talk to uh, the person that was selling it, which was, uh, what was I, his name? It was 500 salami, just like we but, have right here yeah. on, the, on the front lawn. I mean, B Billy Bologna's uh, Soggy Meats Emporium sold it. But uh, what? I, I think it was hard sausage, but you, we would really have to get uh, whoever bought it to actually say whether or not it was hard, soft, or how was it? Or was or it really it soggy? <laughs> or was it really soggy? Was it soggy <laughs> meat? Yes. Yeah. Or was it spicy? I mean, I, I don't have any of that information. Well, when you're putting the sausage in your mouth, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you usually tell if it's spicy right away. Does it have a cream filling? I mean, it's like these are the questions people want to know. Like it first to find out. It's questions but yes, burning on everybody's yeah. minds. That's right. Anything and everything at shroudmarketplace.com. Go look it up. Go figure out what you're you're doing. If you want to start selling your stuff, remember register for an account, and you get to maintain your own prices and set your own, uh, or maintain your own inventory and set your own prices. So put That's stuff right. in a chest, hold on to it, and to and watch it sell. But yes. But you know, it's that time of the day, Jack, yeah, where we gotta say is. we love you guys and gals. Because yeah, uh, can't is. forget the ladies who watch the show out there, and we've got yes. several. And uh, yeah, if we if we forget them, we'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> yep. That's Thank right. you, we everybody, love you for all. watching. Thank you, everybody, Some for watching. Don't forget the uh, release fifty-five live stream is tomorrow we'll tell you more about that on tomorrow's show till then i'm Laz. i'm jack and we are in the end have a great day everybody we'll see you all tomorrow bye bye everybody bye bye <laughs>